I was born in Lethbridge, Alberta, 1931. My dad got tuberculosis in 1937. He died in 1941, I was 11 years old. So my dear old Scottish mother um, had a tough struggle, but she's a great lady, I loved her dearly. When I uh, decided uh, in grade 11 that I was not related to Einstein, I sure as hell wasn't gonna be a scholar of any description, uh, so I quit school and I went to work on a farm. My mother said, if you want to work on a farm, that's fine, but I really want you to get a trade. Uh, I agreed, uh, I certainly owed her that much, uh, so I, I wrote an exam and I, uh, and I got a job with the CPR. I served a trade as a machinist in Calgary, transferred to Lethbridge, I worked uh, in the roundhouse on steam engines. When the diesels came in, all us young guys got laid off, they shut roundhouses, so I moved to Nelson. I got a job at Kootenai Force Products as a welder and a millwright, and, and uh, so that's how I got into the force industry. Very quickly, Jack realized that workers' rights, including workplace safety, were not an industry priority. Safety wasn't a concern. Production was the concern. And, you know, you look at the numbers of people that were killed, over 700, I think, in the 1950s. The numbers are astronomical. Jack realized that he had a role to play in making the workplace safer. He became active in the local IWA. You know, we had a grievance committee and I became a job steward. Went to a local union convention and I guess they noticed me, I had something to say. And so in 1962, I went on as a temporary business agent uh, to help them in the West Kootenai. And uh, uh, we took a dues increase and then we could afford a, another business agent. So I got the job as business agent. From day one in the IWA, safety was a concern, you know, there were so many people getting hurt and killed, so, so you didn't have to be educated to safety, I mean, it, it was always there. In 1967, three IWA locals in the interior chose to strike over the issue of wage parity with woodworkers on the coast. We challenged the employers, we were on strike for 224 days with the three local unions to establish the same rates of pay in the interior as on the coast. 67-68 strike uh, it was, was the defining strike. It, it sure as hell shook the industry and it was good for our members. The next year, Jack had the opportunity to run for election in the Provincial Leadership Committee of the IWA. There was a vacancy in 1968 at the, uh, at the regional convention. The third vice president was not running again. Jack Moore, the then president, asked me if I would run for it. Uh, I said I would. Jack Moore's side won and I got elected as third vice president, so then I had to move to Vancouver. 70, I moved from third vice to second vice. 72, I moved from second vice to first vice. So then Jack Moore uh, went to work uh, NDP government and so I became president in 1973. All of a sudden, I mean, this is a long ways in a short period of time. As IWA president, Jack always believed that health and safety started at the job site. Safety is really on the ground at the operation, logging or manufacturing. It's it's on the work site. That's where it's, that's where it's all at. I put a, one of my vice presidents in charge uh, as an officer of the safety programs and worked uh, very closely with people in all camps and operations. We had seminars teaching our people. Uh, safety committees and about hazards that had been kind of overlooked. You know, the employers were, were a tough bunch. Uh, as I say, they were interested in production, period. And uh, it was a tough job to, to, to educate them that this was also in their interest. It ended up we, we negotiated a, a, a safe, safety fund uh, uh, where both sides contributed to it, and they really did finally get, get the message. It just made them aware that that this is kind of the way that responsible industry should operate. And a very important part of the IWA was the safety program. By the mid-1980s, union jobs and benefits were being threatened. 86 obviously was a pretty serious strike. It was over contracting uh, our jobs away from us and improvements to the pension plan. One thing about our union, the members had lots of input. It was really great, we were together. We won that strike, uh, we, our jobs were protected, and improvements to the pension plan, and, and that was a tough strike. Under Jack's leadership, greater importance was put on workplace safety committees. It's effective safety committees that really make it work. You know, it's better now, I think, uh, 
WCB or WorkSafe, uh, they're pretty stringent on every operation. Having safety committees that work in all operations, it's a better industry to work in. It's cleaner, it's healthier, it's safer. It's recognition by everyone of the importance of safety. It's hard to measure safety, like, you know, what would it be without or what's it like? And, and what's, you, you can't really measure it other than the fact that, that there are just a, a lot less people getting hurt than used to get hurt. There are a lot more people trained on how to do their job properly and safely. After four decades in the industry, Jack retired from the IWA in 1992. I think I'm very fortunate, and I had a great life, you know, and that's smarter than anybody else, but it just seemed to work for me, you know. That's good, and we had some great scraps. <laughs>